basically I'm writing the and designing the logic and the game intelligence. Uh, that part of the game will involve uh, user control, so the user can make the game playable, uh, make it look realistic, uh, with, join the animation together and make the actions fluent to each other. Beforehand, most people just worked on sprites, but now we've got motion capture animation. Motion capture is recording movements of people or things in three dimensions so a computer can animate figures using real movements rather than artificial animations. A person doing the motion capture has to be covered in small reflective markers. They then can do their movements inside an area surrounded by six cameras. The cameras record the images of the markers and then the computer converts that into three-dimensional movement. It gives it a very much more realistic edge. You can, you can really picture the person who originally did the moves, it looks like real footballers. It does make it a lot more technically complicated. The continuity particularly, we have to use a technique called tweening, I can reveal that much, yeah. which is in-betweening where we have to meld one motion capture into another smoothly so you don't see the joins where they were. The 44 main uh, ranking countries uh, in the world, uh, you can play various competitions, uh, you know, selecting from those 44, you know, you can play league systems, cup, you know, competitions friendly games. The main difference between the PSX and the PC version is um, in the way the players have been rendered. Um, what we've tried to do is make use of all the hardware capabilities of the PlayStation. Um, for example, the players have been rendered using a lot of polygons to give them much more detail. Um, and when you look at them on screen, they look a lot more solid. Um, if you look at the, P um, the PC version, the players kind of spin around and, um, from some angles and it looks a bit strange but not on the PlayStation. We took inspiration from sort of the, the modern TV stations, Sky Sports, and things like that, and tried to get it to look as, um, as real as possible. I'm Neil, and uh, I'm a musician. I write, I write most of the music for this company, um, do a few sound effects, record speech, um, and motivate the masses with my larkish humour. I've just been doing some rough demos at the moment and been writing a few words with a, with a couple of other guys and um, been doing a bit of the script and stuff. Um, it's coming along, I think it's going to be sharp and to the point. Well, the sound we use is the commentator Barry Davis, as everyone knows, and he did about 4,000 samples for us, um, which is you know far in excess of what we expected. I'm working on a wall of honour on, on my board up there on the wall. Um, at the moment I've got Andy Sinton and Chris Woods as you can see and uh, also I've got when I met the beautiful South and a few other people up there but Barry Davis, when I get my picture developed, Barry's at the top of that. As I said quite often, it's become a bit of a cliche in mind, one man's commentator is another man's irritation. And so I believe what you don't say is as important as what you do say. Yeah. And commentators actually, as a breed, we all talk too much, it's almost a, a qualification for the job. Um, it's not so much l l liking the sound of your own voice, but you do sort of go, go with the flow. Yeah. Now, I've seen sort of some things in arcades and I can remember sort of my son having, uh, when we first bought him a computer years ago, I mean once I'm of the generation that once children know far more about these things than, than yeah. parents. Came up with the actual name, Actual Soccer, and designed the logo. Actual meaning actual action taken from um, the motion capture rather than anything virtual which um, I'd rather got tired of. Yeah. Well, people took it too far. William Gibson and Rudy Rucker um, put out the map and everybody abused it and everything became um, very un-cyber. My job as producer is basically keeping all the programmers, graphic artists, musicians, uh, uh, commentary programmers, all in the same direction. Uh, making sure that you know everybody's pulling together as a team, working together as a team, you know, and in the end to produce the best football game there is on the market. Well, I'll tell you what I think of actual soccer. I think it's the most realistic game play-wise and player-wise. How the players run about little black heels that are flicks to each other. It's the most realistic looking game I've ever seen. The artwork's absolutely amazing. Uh, the front end makes you want to play it. I've seen it and I was drooling over it myself. I think it's amazing. And for me to actually appear in it, or not appear in it, but the movements appear there, it's, um, like I say, it's a dream come true.